Okay, I have this wheel right here. I'm going to spin it around. I want you to look at the three numbers on there and figure out which one's spinning faster. Okay. If you said the one's spinning faster, you're right. Or if you said they're spinning at the same speed, you're right. It depends what you're talking about for the right answer. One of the variables here is called linear velocity. Linear velocity represented with a lowercase v is some sort of distance over time. So that one has a larger radius, so a larger circumference. It's traveling more distance in the same amount of time as uh, number three closer to the center. So that's linear velocity. And our other variable is angular velocity. Angular velocity, represented with the lowercase omega, is some sort of rotation over time. And how the two are related to each other is the equation linear velocity equals the radius times angular velocity. So this is linear velocity equals radius times angular velocity. But there's one important thing you need to know is this equation only works if angular velocity is in radian measure. It goes back to our last lesson how pi was unitless. So if I have a unit circle, by definition the unit circle has a radius of 1 its circumference all the way around is 2 pi. So circumference is 2 pi r. Unit circle, the radius is equal to 1. So the circumference around the circle is 2 pi. So I start here, rotate all the way around, that would be 2 pi. Halfway around would be pi. Quarter would be pi over 2. And 3 pi over 2. I can split it here into pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. The important thing to note here is that this equation, linear velocity equals radius times angular velocity, only works if you're in radian measure. Okay? So that would do a little experiment here. I have a little a top that we built. I have a white sticker on here. And I'm going to spin it and let's see if we could count how many times it revolves, goes around in a five second window. It's spinning pretty quick. It's kind of hard, especially on that camera, it's hard to tell how many revolutions it does. Okay. I think when I timed it, when it started slowing down a little bit, it span, spun about 10 revolutions in five seconds. So 10 revolutions in five seconds. Okay, so this is an angular velocity because it's rotation over time. So I have angular velocity which is equal to two revolutions per second. And then I'm going to convert it into radian measure. One revolution is equal to two pi radians revolutions will cancel and that'll give me an angular velocity of 4 pi radians per second. Okay, radians are actually unitless but we keep it there as a placeholder. Our equation again was linear velocity equals radius times angular velocity where angular velocity is in radians. So what's the linear velocity of the outside edge of that top? The linear velocity is equal to its radius, three quarters of an inch, the distance, times its angular velocity, four pi rads per second, three quarters times four is three pi, so three quarters times four is three, I still have the pi, radians drops out because it's really just a placeholder. And this is inches 
per second. The thing spinning fast or not? Well, we could convert that to miles per hour. So let's just approximate 3 pi. So our linear velocity is 3 pi inches per second. I want to go to miles per hour. So I'm going to multiply 12 inches equal 1 foot. I can only multiply by 1 so it's not to affect value. Inches cancel. That gives me feet per second. I'm going to take that, 5,280 feet equal 1 mile. So my feet cancel. I have miles per second. 60 seconds equals 1 minute. Seconds cancel. I have miles per minute. I'm running out of room here. 60 minutes equals 1 hour. Okay. So here, let's see, minutes will cancel. Only units in the numerator are miles. Only units in the denominator are hours. So I'm going to take 3 times pi times 60 times 60. So in the numerator, I have almost 34,000. Then I'm going to divide that by 12 times 5280. And it works out to be 0.5. So the linear velocity, the outside of that top, is 0.5. And the key is, is that you keep track of all your units. So it's 0.5 miles per hour. So the outside of that top is traveling at about 0.5 miles per hour. Again, the equation of linear velocity equals radius times angular velocity. However, this only works if it's in radian measure.